Hey everyone, today I got a Cisco 8 port switch. This is an 8 port gigabit switch and as much as I hate little switches, if I have to use a small switch this is uh, the one I use mostly. So I'm going to do a little quick unboxing and just kind of go over the uh, the minor details of this. Uh, I plan to use this on a, on a future videos to do VLANs and all kinds of uh, simple configuration setups. So let's get started with this. So here's the uh, back cover with the uh, some descriptions. Actually, this is the uh, back with the uh, features. Right there, you can see all the features. I'll go over them once I remove the uh, switch out of the box. And we got uh, your standard uh, support information, phone numbers. Little quick start guide. The only thing useful is the default IP and login information. Default IP right here. And login should be Cisco Cisco. And yeah, here we go, right here, Cisco. Alright, that's all we need. Uh, more filler. I've never used the uh, the CD that comes with this, but you might need it one day. I, I don't know. Standard AC adapter. Let's take a look at the uh, voltage information there. That should be readable. And uh, here we go. Oh yeah, and there's the uh, mounting screws, if you were going to put it on the wall. Alright, and the actual switch itself. Let's take a look all around. So this is the front. Back area. Side. And aside with the uh, power and uh, plug for the AC power. All right, so the uh, let's go over the features of this. So this is an eight-port gigabit managed switch. So what that means is that uh, you can assign an IP address to this, log in through uh, a web browser, and configure this. So you can configure VLANs and QoS settings and all kinds of other things. Uh, I'm not sure if it has the uh, cable test feature. I think the uh, 20 and 26 port versions of this do, but I believe everything else is very similar. Um, so here's the uh, all the part information. There we go. So I'm just going to quickly power it on so you see how it looks powered on. Alright, so the uh, cord not actually long enough uh, to reach fully here, so I'm just going to stretch it a bit and plug it in. So there, that's that's how it looks plugged in. It's booting up. I'll, I'll do a separate video and show the uh, the web interface, but um, I'm just going to go over the, uh, the features of this right now. So this switch comes with uh, the ability to be powered over one of the uh, network ports here, I believe it's the uh, first one, you can you can plug this into a PoE switch and provide power and you don't have to use the AC adapter. So this is good if you want to put this in a, some kind of crawl space or a place where there's no real um, power except over using a, a PoE switch or a PoE injector. So this allows it to go virtually anywhere where you could do standard uh, Cat 5E uh, cabling uh, or Cat 6 cabling. 
and so it says VLAN support, QoS, compact design, yeah it's compact, power saving technology, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, I guess it just doesn't use a lot of uh, electricity. Wall mount kit, which means just these two screw holes at the back that you can mount it to a wall. But you gotta get fancy. Um, so this can be used um, in 10 and 100 uh, megabit uh, scenarios, so it doesn't have to be just gigabit. So this this will drop down in auto sense the uh, the speed to something less. It doesn't have to be just gigabit connection. So you may have an old printer that requires a a 10 uh, megabit connection and doesn't fully connect to other switches. You could uh, put this in between and it'll actually make the uh, the printer work. So that's that's all I have for now.